suicide rate among veterans has gone up. And, and I thought it, it may have been going down. And I know suicide goes across America, transcends all careers and occupations. But tell us a little bit about this. And is it specific to veterans and what they've been through? Or is this more just a slice of America and it just intersects with being a veteran? It's not going down. We, we have a suicide and mental health problem in America that crosses all populations. So that's an important starting point, right? But it is acute and different in the military. We lose 17 veterans a day to suicide. 17 every day. That's more than to Al Qaeda, more than to roadside bombs or ISIS or anything else. 17 of our men and women of all generations are lost every day. So that, in my view, is a moral imperative. It's a national security imperative. And it's, it's it's a mental health and public health imperative. So it is different in part because military folks are pre-screened for mental health illness. They're not on drugs generally, right? So there are a couple of other factors that, that play here. And they also have access to firearms that other people have. So it's different in the military, but it's a very serious issue. We continue to see suicides on the active duty, and it cuts to that core issue that we talked about earlier, Dean. Our military is being overused and, I would argue, abused. And it's going to show itself in many different ways, and, and suicide is one of those outcomes. So if, if you're listening, if you know someone who's struggling with transition, send them to the Veterans Crisis Line. You can send them to IABA. There are resources out there. But most of all, what they need is connection. They need hope. They they need to know that they're not alone. And if you're listening right now and you feel like you're alone, you're not, you can tweet me or any of the other veterans groups out there, and we'll get you looped in. Because there is another side here um, where veterans are coming together, and I think that's one of the silver linings, Dean. I like to talk about those on my podcast. Sure. There are people who do get angry, who do get frustrated, but they turn that into positive outcome. And the way veterans are responding and taking care of each other and taking care of civilians, too. It's on mental health, but it's also on hurricane relief and and national disasters. I've talked a lot about Team Rubicon, which is a group of veterans that are going in to crisis zones and helping with medical care and rebuilding. So there is a silver lining here after all this, and it's that there are tough people, inspiring people, diverse people. And in many ways, the military does represent the best of America and maybe the future of America. 